Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little thank you, happy mail here. I want to uh, thank the person who sent me these two books with a big, big hug <laughs> and a big thank you. She is a very, very special fr friend of mine who is uh, sending me some gifts. This was supposed to be here for Christmas. came a little late, but that's okay. I absolutely am in love with both of these books. I've never seen one of these in person, and these are really cool. And then one of the things I want to tell you, the I can't pronounce the wording on this, but the title is My Stroll Through the Seasons. And this one down here um, is Color In and Take a Deep Breath with the m beautiful motifs in the book. If you're wondering, it's Google translated on that. <laughs> it's German, and I did take German, so at least I knew it was German, so I could put in the wording, and I knew how to spell the words. I just don't know how to pronounce or translate them correctly by myself, so I went into that program and got that. So we're going to go through this little book first, and then we'll go through the second book, which is um, from Holland with Love. And I have a translation for this one also. So we'll go ahead and we're going to do a flip through on the book while we're here, just because it's easier that way. We don't have to make another video for that. So we're just going to go ahead and go in. The paper in this is a, a really nice thickness. I'm pretty sure you can put a lot of different... Um, medias on here, but as always, I would do a test page somewhere in the book. And what I would do is probably, I don't know in the back of the book if they have a blank page, but one of these pages, you could test out a medium in on it and see if it leaks through. If it does, you may want to consider not doing it on a double page spread, but the book is kind of filled with those, so it's really fun. So check it out, and if you want to, you can just put a um, blotter page in between the uh, different pages, and then if your ink bleeds through and you didn't like the other side, say, that would be fine for you to use your pencils. I think some water medias might be really nice in here. I mean, the pictures are just, they're, they're, it's a nice size, it's small, which is, is great, so they're not gigantic pictures, but they're beautiful. I mean, <laughs> there's some that are a little more whimsical, some pattern pages, but this is a collection of her books. She has spring, winter, fall, and summer, and this is a collection of her seasons. So this book goes through all of those with a, a little snippet out of each of her books which is great for a first timer for her books to get a little sampling of everything that comes in those other books. This is a cute page over here. <laughs> and the beautiful little flowers, the pretty little bird. I mean, this is just adorable. Look at the hats. That's so cute. It's like one of my rules of a book when I'm looking through the flip through since I have to have at least 10 pages that I would color in order for me to pick out a book that I would like. And this one, I think I can't even find 10 I wouldn't color. <laughs> so this one is a great book. I mean, that would just be gorgeous with a nice little sky and clouds up there. Mm, pretty, pretty, pretty. So yeah, real fun. And I like the little pages. You could test out uh, color combinations on those. And then if you have the same kind of flower over here, you can just use it. Oh, the black and white swan. I love that one. <laughs> and a little kitty out here. That's a lot of leaves. That one would take some time. I just love these. I like the little uh, dots with the little stars in them. That is so cute. I want to keep my hand kind of in the book. Even this one's fun looking. Little birds. They're over here in an umbrella. It's 
instead of the nest. <laughs> little kitty again sleeping down there. I am kind of going a little fast. Sorry about that. And the little birds down here and the little cattails. Little froggy. Might be a first page teapot. I mean, it's just filled with everything imaginable in here. So if you like fruits and vegetables, boom, here you got fruits and vegetables. Seaside, beaches. I mean, you got everything in here. It's going to be a really fun book to play around in. Get a little, uh, little piggy family here. Probably bigger piggies than the little piggies. I mean, that's cute. A little island. I like the patterns they do down here on the hills. Even that page is cute. And we got the little mice running around here. An apple with a bird. Another pattern. Like washi tape. <laughs> Raindrops and trees. Got a whole bunch of sunflowers if you could practice and practice and practice on those veggies. Kites. Oh, that's fun. A mushroom. You know I like my mushrooms. <laughs> We've got leaves blowing in the wind. Pumpkins. We're getting into fall here. More leaves blowing. We've got our little rubber boots and our umbrella. I like that page a lot with the, the rain falling that turns into the leaves that are splashing in the puddles. Little owl. Another pretty uh, wreath here for the fall. And you can try your acorns and other leaves over there. Then we're getting into the winter with the beautiful trees and tiny little cabins down here. We got snow and a little snow bunny having tea. That is adorable. We had snow this morning. <laughs> so yeah, that one's really cute. Snowflakes, a whole bunch of trees. That's really cool too. I like that page. We have our wreath for snow and lanterns. A whole bunch of Christmas cookies or holiday cookies, holiday cakes, candy canes. Fun. Even that's cute. I like that a lot. Just the pine cone in one branch. Got some deer. Partridge in a pear tree. Haha. <laughs> it looks like a Christmas card cover. Mittens, gloves, hats. A little town. That is really cool too. A little boot again. Then we've got a whole bunch of yummies inside that one. Birds bringing in packages. I've seen people do this for an advent calendar up to 24. Cute little snow village. We've got our, our tree. There's really not a tree there. It's just a bunch of shaped ornaments. So you can kind of put a green fade in there if you wanted. Got a holly old man over here. <laughs> we have a back, black background on this one. It's like New Year's Eve. Got it just a minute after 12 here. This is really cool too. I'm going to have fun in this book. It is really nice. We're coming to the end. I have another little village here where we're out skiing. Or skiing. They're um, skating on the ice. Little heart. And then, of course, we have her other books. So you have the, the winter, the summer, the spring, and the fall. And yeah, that's the end of the book. The back of the book, it actually has a little saying here. Every season has its own beauty. Fresh green in spring, dancing butterflies in summer bright autumn leaves and the glittering ice crystals in the winter. 
Rita Bergman is with her eyes open and her pen drawn while she is hiking through nature and has the most picturesque motif configurations. Come along on a walk through the city on the most beautiful pages of the year, is what that says. <laughs> Lovely book. I love it. It's going to be so fun to color in, and I can't wait to find out which pencils work best on that paper. So we'll get into the next book here, and this is From Holland with Love. And I'm going to unfortunately butcher the poor lady's name because I can't pronounce it. It is, uh, I'm going to go Maja van Denberg. <sighs> Tried. <laughs> You've all seen this book, but we're going to do a quick flip through of this one also. Hopefully we can keep it in frame here. So, of course, this is your nameplate. This book belongs to... And then these are single-sided. They are also preparated on the edge so you can tear each one of these pages out. The paper in here is also a very nice thick paper. And if you slip a piece of plastic or something back here, you can use any medium you want on this because it, there's nothing on the other side. Um, you might want to check again with a blank piece of paper in the book before you put too much water on it just so the pages don't buckle and curl too much, but you can always iron them out. Cute little clogs there. Like a postage stamp. That's adorable. And the house. The windmill, I should say. Then you have a nice, beautiful page you can just color. It's pretty. And a gorgeous heart great for Valentine's Day and or any other time of year that you feel like doing that. Any colors too. That'd be pretty in blue and white. I think anything in here would be pretty in blue and white. This looks like a, a nice pretty plate. You've got your peacock here. Oh, that would be pretty in turquoise colors. We've got the lion coat of arms. Beautiful vase of flowers. A um, kind of mandala, very soft and fluffy looking to me. Oh, uh, yes, I can see that in other colors. <laughs> you have your little wooden clog, wooden shoe uh, with the flowers coming out. And a beautiful, another like stained glass window. That's what that reminds me of. We have our ship. That's cool. We have our ducky with all the flowers inside. So pretty. We've got a lion. Did I miss a page? The pages are nice and thick. And then we have some like tiles of the birds going around. That's pretty. We have very ornate a scarf or hat on her head. She's got it all hooked up with little details on here. She's very pretty. Another little flower motif. We've got a little cow. <laughs> Aren't we cute? He's licking his little nose. Pretty pretties. These are going to be gorgeous colored in. This is the one on the front cover. Double check. Yep. See? Blue and white. <laughs> it's pretty. Got a little wagon. Train car. Little dancers in there. The detail in here is really nice. Love all the little flowers. I know I'm not really a flower person, but when you get into looking at the little details in here, they're gorgeous. Here we have a nice little house with a, that'd probably be a really pretty den done up. 
And then in the back here we have little cutouts, which are all really cute too. And tags. Work in progress. Um, <laughs> yeah, not going to get some of these. But uh, I'll put those in translation and figure them out. We have like card fronts. And then we do have a uh, blank paper in the back so you can check it out. You can actually col color these if you wish. And on the back of um, this one, this one says, From Holland with Love. This is the sixth coloring book for adults on the color palette artist of the Netherlands. Maja van de Berg. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm saying that right. In this color book you will find the most beautiful plates or pages inspired from the Netherlands. Everything comes by or comes from the on the pages from lions to the milkmaids and to poetry pictures suitable for both novice and experienced colorers. Maja van Ber van de Berg <laughs> sorry, sorry, makes all her drawings by hand and likes to be inspired by nature. More than five or fifty thousand copies of Maja's books have been sold to homes and abroad. So there you go. <laughs> um, this one up here single-sided printed pages with tear-off edges, just to let you know. So yeah, they are perforated and you can tear them out. They're a nice size also for framing if you have square frames available to you. So if you do one up really nice, it would be great to see a picture up on the wall. I want to thank my wonderful subscriber friend <laughs> who is gifting me these from the bottom of my heart. It's it's really, really sweet of you. And, um, yeah. excuse me, I really appreciate it more than you know. So I want to thank you all for watching and checking out the books. I'm pretty sure they are available on Amazon if you wanted to look them up. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. See you in another video coloring probably a couple of these pages. Bye now. Take care.